Hi, my name is Samir Malik and I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students in the Austin area. Today we're going to be discussing how to read metric. Now, reading metric is a pretty simple uh, uh, concept. As long as you are able to get a hold of a metric ruler, which has centimeters and millimeters, all you need to do is take your object, whatever object you're trying to uh, find the measurement of, place it next to your ruler, uh, on the metric side of it, which means centimeters and millimeters side of it, and then just measure it accordingly. So today what I'm going to do is provide an example of finding the measurement of a key using the metric ruler. So if you take a look here, I'll go ahead and show that to you. We have our key here, we have the ruler, and as you can see here, this first side is centimeters and millimeters, and the bottom side of this ruler is inches. Since we're reading it from a metric standpoint, we're going to keep it faced towards millimeters and centimeters. Now, what we want to do is face the key so that the base of the key is at the zero mark. Then we'll take a look, and we'll see here that this line comes and hits... Um, a little before the six, it's what I would say five centimeters and eight millimeters. Or we can also illustrate this key to be 5.8 centimeters. So this is how we're able to find the measurement of this key, by placing the key next to the ruler and then measuring it accordingly to see where exactly the key ends. So this is how we measure the measurement of the key, is by placing the base of the key at the zero mark, zero centimeter mark, and then finding out where the key ends to calculate the total measurement in centimeters for that key. This is how we read a metric ruler and read metric.